What up internet friends? Today we are talking about split toning. I'm gonna do a Lightroom tutorial on split toning. And I feel like split toning is kind of an underused or under talked about tool in Lightroom. And so I'm gonna talk about it today. I actually did a whole full develop module tutorial. Shit was 38 minutes long. So I said, mm, not gonna air that. So I decided to split it up into sections. We're not gonna go over exposure. I'll probably do one on the HSL, but I think the key to having dope photos that are cool and stand out and are really unique is split toning. So let's get right into it. Let's look at this lovely photo of my friend Valeria on the beach. We shot this last weekend. She doesn't know I'm using this for the tutorial, but I hope she's cool with it. Anyways, so this is the edited image that I, uh, that I came up with at the end. And let's have a look-see at the before, right here. Boom, so that's before. This is raw out of the camera, uh, and this is the edited version. So what I've done very briefly is done some exposure adjustments over here, you know, uh, boosted the shadows and the whites, brought the blacks down a little bit, a smidge of clarity, a smidge of dehaze, nothing on the tonal curve, but then the HSL sliders, I've done a whole bunch of stuff, which gives it its look, if you can see with that turned off, that's what it looks like and turned on. We're bringing out the blues and the water and doing a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, I will do a tutorial on this, just not doing it today. So all of the adjustments on the HSL thing, uh, it, it affects globally the image. So if you s use the slider for orange, say here we're at minus 22, it's gonna affect all the pixels with orange in it, which is mostly her skin tone, right? So it globally, ooh, whoa, it globally does all that, right? Split toning separates the highlights from the shadows. So we can affect just the highlights and just the shadows of the image to get a cool separation in between these two things. And that I think is just a unique way to make your image pop a little bit more. So with the split toning right here, let's turn it off and we'll see what it looks like. So this is with it off, right? And this is with it, this is with it on. So what I wanted to do here is I wanted to give the image this golden sunset kind of a look, which was the vibe I was going for, but still retain the blues and the water. So let's just set this all to zero. So this is the image right here, right? Which is cool. So, but it doesn't have that golden, the golden sunset vibe, right? So one way we could do this is obviously we can, you know, we can yellow up the entire image, but that is, but that, that pulls out the blue, right? Which is not what we want to do. So going back down to split toning. I just wanted to show you shittier options to do what we want to do. But the way we're going to do it is we're going to do split toning. So again, we're going to start with the highlights and we're going to find this golden sunset kind of a kind of a vibe, right? So we're up here and you can see that it's mostly affecting the brights, which is some of the water, right? But it's still retaining that blues, those blues in there. So we're going to move over to this golden, which is a bit of red in the yellow. And that kind of feels right. And then we're going to go down to the saturation and you can crank this all the way up for like a crazy look, right? Or you can have it a little bit more subdued. And you essentially are just gonna slide this until this feels right. I think a big thing about photo editing is that it's it's all your preference. So it's not so much uh, about the technical knowledge, right? But like if you go into Lightroom and you slide all the sliders until you find the thing that you like about the image, I think that's just as a valid way as, as to, to edit your image as it is to find out the technical aspect of each tool and then edit based off that. I think that playing around with your footage and with the tools is kind of uh, the way to go. You really get to understand exactly what it's doing, right? So we are gonna play with the saturation and I kind of want this to be a little golden. So we're gonna pop that up like that, right? And then we're gonna go down to the shadows. And now it's a very standard kind of a thing to uh, warm your highlights and cool your shadows. That's sort of very common. Uh, so I would advise if you're trying to figure out like what color cast to pick when you're split toning, start there. Uh, it'll give you a general good separation in between the bright and darks and give it a, of a bit of a feel. And I also would suggest generally uh, to not go too heavy. This image sort of calls for it, but I would say on the regular, if you're just doing sort of a normal image, don't go super heavy on the split toning. It's just gonna give it a weird fake look uh, so try to just do it subtle. I really like it when you find that subtlety where you just look at the image and you kind of just wonder like, why, why is that one so dope? You know what I mean? You're like you can't tell what's going on. It just feels dope. And I think split toning is a cool way to do that, right? So on the shadows, right? 
we are going to cool these off. So we're gonna find an appropriate blue. And again, for here, right, we can kind of lean a little bit more towards the, the cyan teal kind of color if we wanted to pull that out in the, in the water or we could go more for a pure blue. Uh, I think on this one, we're gonna go a little pure blue, kind of right about there. And then again, we can adjust the intensity, right? Uh, to be 100 or down to nothing. Now you can see that in her, you know, in her back and her arms and stuff, because the sun is up here, uh, she's in shadow a little bit, right? So the more we add blue, the more that her skin tone turns into this weird kind of bluey purple kind of a vibe, which is not really what we want, right? So we need to be a little careful with how, how heavy the saturation is on this. So this one's gonna be a little bit lower, right? but even kind of right about there, like her skin tone looks good. So you can see the difference. If I go on my 35%, I go to zero, right? So it really, like these rocks are all super yellow, right? But then if we go back up to 35%, it just gives it, it balances the image out. And I think that's a, that's a big goal of split toning, right? So from there, you can do what's called the balance. Uh, and so here you can even shift it more. You can lean towards uh, the cooler side, the shadows, right? So you can see how, how much cooler it's gotten there, or you can lean towards the highlight section, right? So this is getting a lot warmer. Uh, I mean, this is, think of the balance as just a bit of more of a fine tuning on split toning. So once you sort of set your two color tones, you can just sort of like play with it like a little bit more warm, a little bit more cool, or sorry, I guess technically it'd be a little bit more towards the highlights, whatever color you pick, a little bit more towards the shadows, whatever you pick. Um, and I kind of was leaning just a little bit more warm here to bring those out a little bit more. And that's kind of our look. So we can turn split toning off by flicking this button right here. And you can see how much of a difference it made, right? So that's super blue. I mean, her skin tone is fine. Um, but when you pop this on, we get this cool golden light in the, in the reflection down here. You're getting the sky to be this little bit of a golden color. Her hair pops a little bit more. Um, and it just gives you this dichotomy. And even if you look in, if you go close into the water here, if I can make this work, you know, we're getting these, these warm highlights right next to this cool water, which gives it a cool look, right? If we take this, oh, I got the spinning wheel of death. Okay, if we take this split toning off again, you're gonna lose all of that, right? So you're gonna lose, if this will go, come on. My computer's slow when I do screen recording. So this is all just blue, right? Um, which is a cool, it's a nice blue, right? But it's like to have the, in the water, to have some of this golden yellow up in these highlights, right? And then the blue down here, and then sort of the green kind of here, because it's mixing the blue, uh, the blue and the yellow is kind of giving us some green here, and then a more richer blue, the closer we go in the shadows, to get this gradient of like warm to cool tones within the image in the water is, is what I think makes it really cool. And if you just looked at this, you probably wouldn't go, oh yeah, there's split toning. You'd just be like, why is, why is the light so dope in that picture? So that is my super quick tutorial on split toning. I just wanted to run over this one little section because I think this is really important. So play with some split toning on your, on, on your own images. Start with a warm highlight and a cool shadow. Uh, play with the color cast, play with the saturation, play with the intensity and the balance, uh, and send me some of your photos. Tag me on Instagram, I'd love to see what you guys are doing. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a full tutorial on in Lightroom to show you how I do exposure, how I do the HSL sliders, how I use presets, but I'm not gonna do it all at once. I did that already and it was 40 minutes, so I'm gonna just delete that video. This is Split Tony Tips, coming out with new videos every Monday, new vlogs every Monday. Uh, yeah, smash subscribe, comment if you use Split Tony, if you don't, if you want other tips, I'm getting really into all aspects of Lightroom and I wanna share my knowledge. So check it out, and if you wanna see my work, follow me on Instagram, at Cole Wallacer. Check it all out, subscribe, see you next time. All right, cool, and uh, peace.